Hello everyone, Porcelain here on Manufractured, and welcome to another episode of Tossed and Found, the weekly show all about thrifting, and basically showing you that you can find some really amazing treasures if you're willing to hunt for them and do a little bit of work. Um, so this haul I teased in an earlier video. I did, I opened one of these cases before from a thrift shop in a previous video. This one's from a garage sale. I'll show you the uh, empty case. So this was the, the first case I did, it is now empty, just to prove to you guys, I, I showed them both in the last video, but I didn't open this one, I only opened this one, um, and this I think is going to be the more exciting one than that last one, not that that last one wasn't exciting, I think it was pretty exciting too, uh, if you want to check it out, I'll hopefully have linked it in the description, uh, or you can find it on my channel along with a whole bunch of other LPS hauls. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to get into this uh, so I can empty the cases. I'm not going to be keeping either of these cases. Um, I'll be rehoming them, but I'll be keeping all the pets inside. I just have a different storage solution for my uh, Littlest Pet Shops because I have so many of them. Uh, but without further ado, I think we'll just get into the opening. So this case cost me $5 total for everything inside. There are definitely more than five pets in here. Uh, I think most of them are real. I think maybe a few of them will be um, like McDonald's type pets, but I think most of them are gonna be real. So I'm just super excited to get into this. Uh, definitely, I already know I got my money's worth just looking at them, but I'm not sure everything that's in here. Um, so it's going to be fun to open it together and see exactly what we got and what condition they are and stuff. Uh, these cases, they open, they just have a little switch at the top and they open up real nice. Um, I'm going to put this off to the side here so that we can look as I'm pulling things out and still have space to display them all. Um, yeah, so I think we'll start here with this newest, nearest corner. Uh, we have, all right, so first we have this little koala. It's obviously a McDonald's pet, but that's okay. I really love the McDonald's pets. They make uh, great, they're great for uh, testing out repaints and different things on. Uh, and also if I don't have them, I'll add them to my collection. I'm pretty sure I don't have that koala, unless I got it in the last one I did. This is, I film, I'm filming these a little bit of time apart, so I can't remember. Um, but yeah, nice, cute little koala. Um, then we have an armadillo. And I actually did an armadillo repaint recently. Very cute little armadillo. You'll probably see the repaint I did in a future, future video. Uh, and we have a second armadillo. This one in a different color. It's odd that they paint like just the little dots close to the face and none of the rest. Maybe that's just me that thinks it's odd that they only paint a few of them when they're really covered in the dots. So we have all those guys. I'm gonna push them back a little bit. There we go. Awesome, then we have a hammock. I believe this is meant to be a hammock that's in here with the pets, probably. Uh, I'm not sure if we have the stuff to attach that to, but a hammock. Then we have a butterfly. Okay, this butterfly is covered in elastics. Tiny elastics. I don't really need the elastics. Hopefully it hasn't been damaged. Whoa. I think they were just on there as a fashion statement. Ugh. Let's see. It's really hard. I don't want to hurt the pet, but I want to take the elastics off. Oh, there we go. Okay. Much better. Oh, there we go. She's looking much better. Uh, she's got a bit of paint chipping in her eye on one side, but aside from that, the elastics didn't deform her much, which is great. She's gone back to her normal sort of size, normal, uh, her antennae are back to normal, so that's good. I um, don't think I have, I don't know that I have any butterflies, let alone that one. So that's pretty cool. And that's an actual LPS. And next we have more elastics. This video is just going to be me taking elastics off things, isn't it? And this one, I thought it was a monkey, but it's obviously not a monkey. That looks like a monkey's head, doesn't it? But it doesn't have a monkey body. It has like a meerkat body. We'll see once I get all these elastics off. Alright, after 
a little bit of surgery. Um, we've removed the elastics, and this is what this guy looks like. It looks like his head's meant to be a monkey and doesn't fit. Like, he has, like, a meerkat body, and I'm sure he's meant to just be a meerkat, but his head just looks so wrong. Like, it's meant to be a monkey or, like, a weird otter or something. Maybe he's meant to be an otter. Maybe it's an otter, but I don't know. This one just looks really strange to me. I don't know that I'll keep it as is. I'll probably repaint it. Uh, even though I don't have it in my closet. I don't even know what that pet is. If you know what that pet is, let me know. Never seen it before. Uh, next we have, oh, a little dragonfly. I think I do have a dragonfly, but I don't know that it's this one. I'll have to do a collection tour just so that I know how which pets I have at this point. He is really cute looking. I love those wings. Very cute. His head doesn't bobble, but it turns. But he's still super duper cute. Much cuter than the butterfly one, in my opinion, at least. Much cuter than that monkey guy. Oh, and then we have, again, with the elastics. Gotta take those off first. I'm gonna have a whole collection of elastics that I don't even want. Um, then we have this little owl. She is so sweet. Let's see. Her head bobbles. She is super sweet looking. She's in very good condition. Super sweet looking little owl. I love her. I don't have her. Oh, she's so sweet. Very happy to have this one in my collection. I think that's probably my favorite so far. Look at those big eyes. You get to sit near the front because you're one of my favorites so far. Then we have... What is this? Oh, I think it's meant to be like a cup of juice. I don't think this is an LPS prop. Maybe it is. Um, you can let me know if you know what this is from. I might keep it with my other little props. I probably won't keep that hammock, though. Uh, then we have, I guess, a plate. A little purple plate. Who knows? Uh, and then we have... What is this? Like a cinnamon roll hat? Again, this doesn't look like an LPS prop. It reminds me more of, like, Shopkins or something. But it could be. I don't know. It has a weird shape, so maybe it is from an LPS. Again, you guys can let me know if you know... Who this goes with, what this goes with, where it comes from, I'm not too sure. Next, I think we're going to go into the big, the big one up here that has these bags in it. And hopefully pets, we'll see. Okay, so we have the first big LPS bag out. It does not have a pet in it. Um, it's just a big bag. I think these would look really cute if you repainted them, though. It's got this little sticker on the front that I don't want. Ah, oh, there we go. Um, but I think this would look really cute if you, like, painted the little leaves and painted the bamboo. I think it would look super, super cute as a little prop. Uh, then we have another bag. This one looks more like a traditional duffel bag. Again, with just a little bit of painting, you could leave the base color and just a little bit of painting for the details. I think these could be super cute props to go in, like, the corner of a dollhouse. And we have another sort of duffel bag, but it's in blue. And no pets in any of these. I think they're just gonna go off to the side. We'll just leave them peeking in a little bit. Is there anything else in this corner? There is. There is. Okay, so we have what looks like a very odd brush. That's kind of a cool prop. It's very different looking. If you had like a pet salon, you could probably put that with that. Uh, we have a very small little brown brush with a little paw print on it. Very cute. And then we have, oh, an actual Shopkins. Uh, so I have like the smallest collection of Shopkins ever because I only ever get them in like lots with other toys um, accidentally. Not because I don't like Shopkins, just because I don't seek them out. But we have this little candy apple Shopkins. I don't know any of their names, uh, but she'll go with the other Shopkins I have until I decide what to do with them. I'll probably keep them for now. There's a hair in there. And there's also more elastics, because <laughs> of course there need to be. Uh, all right, next I think we're going to do this corner down here. You can kind of see where my hand is. And we have, starting out, another one of those meerkat, otter, I don't know what they are things. So I'll definitely be repainting one of these. Um, maybe this guy, maybe the other one. Let me know what these are. I don't like them. Um, I'm sure I can turn the base into something really cool, but... I don't know, they look so awkward. They're like the most awkward looking LPS I've ever seen. Let me know what this one is, because I really, I'm really, I, 
Usually I can get sort of a guess, like sort of a close guess, and with that one I really, really can't. So let me know if you know. Next we have, oh, it's a little kangaroo. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, look at that. We have this little kangaroo. It looks so happy. And it does need a little bit of cleaning up. Most of them do. It is not covered in elastics, though. The paint on its nose is chipping a teeny tiny bit, but aside from that, it's got some good paint. It's very cute. Very bobbly. Very, very cute. I like him. Then we have a bunny. I have other bunnies in this mold. I'm not sure if I have this one specifically. Uh, I believe a lot of like the older LPS like this, older LPS, um, I believe that they have like numbers or something that they go by. If there's a numbered guide, I should probably look it up and see what exactly I have because I'm not sure. I just have whatever pets I find. Um, but yeah, very cute bunny. I really like its colors. I don't have one in those colors, I don't think. Then we have a little cat, like a baby kitten. I'm not sure if I have this one. I might have this one already. Its tongue sticking out. It's cute. It's not like the greatest, but it's pretty cute. Pretty cute. Uh, then we have, oh, it's a little mouse. Oh, with little pink cheeks. Oh my goodness. I love mice LPS. They are so cute. Here's this little mouse. So cute. Like the mice and the deer and the goats, I think, are my favorites of all the LPS pets. Love them so much. Um, then we have a little ice cream. Again, I'm not sure what this came with. It's just a little ice cream cone. It's very well detailed, but I'm not sure what it's from. I will keep it. I'm going to put it in there so it doesn't get lost. And then we have, oh my goodness, it's a little cat and he's wearing a little winter hat. Oh, very cute. Obviously made for him. It's got the holes right where his ears should be. I am going to take it off though, just um, for the sake of this video and seeing him in all his glory um, or her. Hat will go over there. We will give it back to you, kitten. Don't worry. There is the cat without the hat. Painting looks good. Really, really nice mold. Um, I don't have this one, so obviously I'm going to keep it. But man, would that make a nice repaint mold. Very, very, very nice little figure there. I'm already like super, super happy. I only paid $5 for this thing. Um, and we're only halfway through, and I'm already like super, super happy with all the pets that we found. All right, into the next one. Uh, so we have another koala. This one's a different color. There we go. Different colored koala, but another koala, all the same. Uh, then we have, oh my goodness, one of these like fairy pets. I guess it's electronic based on it being made out of other plastic. Yeah, it's got a space for batteries. Oh, it works. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it has one of these like complete the circuit things on the bottom. And if I complete the circuit, it's glowing. Let's see. Can you see that? It shows up better off camera. I'm going to turn all my lights off just so you can see. All right, so my main two lights are off, but I still have some lights on. Let's see if you guys can see. Here, it's lights, it's lights, it's wings light up. Very cool. That's how it looks from the front. Interesting. Very interesting. I'll add it to my collection, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure about it. I mean, it's an interesting thing. I'll keep it because it's an LPS. It's not like the cutest mold or anything, but it's cool. It's a cool little toy. It's a cool little toy. Um, I've turned my lights back on now, uh, and we're going to continue. So we have this little skunk. So, so cute. I love it. It's such a cute, such a cute little mold. I love it. Super, super cute little skunk. Oh, so many cute pets. What am I going to do? How am I going to pick a favorite? Oh, a little hat! Okay, I don't know what kind of pet this fits on or if it goes with a doll or something instead. But it's like this sculpted little knit hat with cat ears. Oh my goodness, I just want to put this on like a really small doll. Like it would fit on the mini Lala Loopsies or like a mini Bratz or um, some of the other small dolls that are out there. It's so cute. I love this hat so much. That's so cute. I love that. I have no idea what that comes from, so if you know, let me know. 
Then we have a little um, seahorse. A little seahorse. This is not LPS at all. Um, not sure where this comes from, but she's pretty. Uh, she'll go here in the hammock. There we go. Uh, then we have oh a little backpack that I guess attaches to an LPS or a leg or something. It's got a little paw print in the front of it. It opens. There's not really space to put anything in it though, so I don't know why it opens. And it obviously attaches to a pet or something of some sort. Then we have, oh, an LPS seahorse. See, this is how you can tell that the other seahorse definitely not an LPS seahorse. Here's an LPS seahorse. Very cute. I don't think I have any seahorses. This is really nice. I love the, like, coral colors. I need to wash whatever gunky stuff has gotten on its head, but very, very cute. I love the colors. All right, next we have, oh, a little skateboard. It's got a little paw print on it. That's pretty cute. Let's see if it'll focus enough for you to see. Whoop, there we go. There's that little paw print. Cute little skateboard. Um, I think an LPS could definitely sit atop the skateboard. Let's put our little skunk friend there. Definitely works as an LPS prop. Then we have, oh look at this, little tiny guy. Little tiny BB octopus with a little bow on her head. Very cute looking thing. Very, very cute. We have more elastics. We have, oh, another seahorse in different colors. This one's not in as nice shape as the other one, but still nice shape, and I'm glad that it has a different color palette to the first one. Still like the first one better. I like its like coral colors a little more, but still, both very, very cute. So we have three more. We've done four of the little container bits portions, partitions, I guess you'd say, and we have three left, but we are filling up the screen fairly fast, so I'm just going to slide this off camera. So first we have more elastics all over this poor little monkey, very cute looking little monkey, um, very, very cute, but yeah, covered in elastics. Look at that tail. It's got a really, really colorful tail. I don't want to damage the tail taking these off, but I don't want to keep them on either. So, I'm just going to have to carefully remove them. And like, this is part of what, what I mean when I say uh, if you're willing to put in a little bit of work. The work isn't just hunting for things, the work is also cleaning up toys, removing elastics from them, uh, fixing their hair, uh, basically removing whatever damage or whatever changes a person has made to the toy from owning it. That's that's the work part that you gotta put in, uh, not just the searching, which is like the fun work part, but the work part of cleaning them up. And actually cleaning them up can be a bit of fun, it's just, uh, it's just also a lot of work, it's time consuming. And so, yeah, it's not too fun removing the elastics, but once you see it nice and clean and no longer altered, and then you just drop it on your table, because you're nice to your things. Um, <laughs> once you see it all cleaned up, it is worth it. it. It makes you happy. So there's this cute little purple monkey. Very cute. Uh, then we have whatever this is. I don't know what that came off of. Like the hammock, I don't think it has anything to attach to in here. Then we have, oh my goodness, this guy has seen better days. Ooh, you are definitely going in the repaint bin, my friend. Ooh, I have a repaint bin, yeah, for all my toys. Used to be a cupboard, now it's a bin. Um, so look at those eyes. This poor guy's eyes are coming off. Uh, aside from that, he's pretty cute. Little hermit crab. I will, uh, yeah, I'll have to paint him some new eyes. Paint him a new shell. Poor thing. <laughs> Feel bad for him. Um, yeah, not in the best condition. But these are all over the map. The map. The map. Some of them are in perfect condition, some of them are not in the best condition. Uh, next we have this teeny tiny little butterfly. Very cute. Very, very cute. I like it lots. Very cute teeny little butterfly. Uh, then we have, oh, a teeny little caterpillar to go with our butterfly. I like that lots. He looks super happy. There they are next to each other. They, they really suit each other. 
And then we have, oh, another hermit crab. This one has elastics all over it. Its eyes, her eyes, are doing a whole lot better than the other guys, though. Um, let's take off these, like, elastic band handcuffs that it's got. Oh my goodness, I did not know when I started filming this that this would be this much work. Um, I didn't notice all the elastics, I guess. So here she is, freed from her elastic. She's doing a lot better uh, than the other guy was. As you can tell with them side by side, she's, she's in a lot better condition. We have more elastics, of course. Uh, we have two more little uh, containers left to empty. Two more little squares. First we have this turtle. Again, covered in elastics. He's been at a party. Um, he needs a little bit of help getting out of all these elastics. And we're back. Um, my battery died while I was filming, and so everything looks a little different now because it's a different day. I had to charge all my batteries, didn't have any uh, backed up that were charged. Anyway, uh, we're back, and it was like no time for you, except my nails look different now um, because I painted them. So <laughs> yeah, nails look different. I think this setup's slightly different, but it's all the same pets. We have two more um, compartments in this thing to go through. And so we're gonna go through them. Um, so first we have this turtle. He's pretty cute. Oh. He is pretty cute. I really like him actually. I like his face. I like the pattern on his shell. Very cute. Love that. Um, then we have a frog. So these were kind of done in categories, I guess, when they were put in here. This seems to be reptiles and amphibians. This guy is also super, super cute. Uh, a lot of these ones are in actually really good condition. Um, I haven't really been commenting too much on the pets, but uh, a lot of these are in great condition or will only need a little bit of cleanup, which is awesome. We have this lizard. I'm pretty sure I already own a lizard like this. I might be wrong. Who knows? But he is still very, very cute. So we got a turtle, a frog, a lizard, and oh, a different kind of lizard. I don't think I have one like this. Whoa. He's got more of like a chameleon iguana design. I don't know. I don't know my lizards that well. I used to own a um, bearded dragon um, until she died of old age, but uh, yeah. Cute little lizards. I don't think I have one like that. Not we have one last compartment left now. So the first thing in here is one of these uh, McDonald's LPS dogs. Very cute. I love these faces. They're just so cute. Whoa! I'll bump my camera. I do that every every video, I think. Every single video, I believe, I bump my camera. Put him back there. And then, looking at this, I think it's all dogs. So here we have one, again, wearing some elastics. That I'll have to take off. Forgive me for not knowing the dog breed names as LPS pets. Um, I just don't know them. But I definitely don't have this guy. So many new pets. He's so cute. I'm really excited to add him to my collection. Um, next we have this one. Super cute. She is... I love, I love her colors. Her like light... Uh, the light stuff on her face. I'm just trying to get all of these elastics off. Oh, so many elastics. This is the elastic video. Hopefully, future hauls will not be full of elastics. Whoa. And almost. Whoa, how many elastics can you fit on your pets? There we go. She's really cute, beautiful blue eyes and light white patterns on her light brown fur. Very, very cute. I like her a lot. Simple, but elegant. Oh, uh, this guy's not in frame. I'm gonna go back there. There we go. I'm just gonna start fitting these in where they fit. Um, then we have this little girl. Oh, she's so cute. She looks more like a puppy with her ears half up. She needs a little bit of a cleanup, but I think she's doing all right. She has a little bit of paint rubbed off of her nose, but it kind of looks like a shine the way it's rubbed off, so I don't really mind that too much. I will clean her up and add her to my collection. Whoa! As she falls over at face plants head first. 
she is very top heavy because she is like a puppy. Uh, then we have another one of these little seahorses. I'm not sure what they come from. Um, but over there they go. And finally, last but certainly not least, this is actually a great one to end on. We have this guy. He's like a Great Dane or something. Um, and he's brown, light brown with dark brown ears and green eyes. And he is flocked, so he is really fuzzy, like all over. The tip of his tail is missing, it's flocking. Um, but aside from that, he is flocked and he is so, so soft. So soft and cute. Very, very cool. I don't think I have any flocked pets yet, so this is a pretty cool addition to my collection. I'm pretty happy about him. So these are all the pets we got for $5 in this haul. I am extremely happy with this. That is like less than 50 cents a pet, um, which is insane. Um, and part of the reason why I thrift uh, for collecting instead of uh, buying things from the store because I save so much money. It just takes me the extra time and is like a little treasure hunt for me. Um, but we have so many new pets here to add to my collection. I really have to do a collection tour soon because um, my collection has grown. It's uh, It started out as like one little pocket and now it's like two shelves of pets. So <laughs> I definitely need to do a collection tour soon. I'm really not sure what my favorite is for this video because there are so many good ones. Uh, I love this cat, uh, the like little caramel colored cat, uh, the little dogs, adorable. Um, just all of them, they're all super super cute and I'm just excited to add them to my collection. It's cool to have a kangaroo and an owl, um, just so many. I love the little mouse too with the little uh, blushing cheeks. So yeah, I'm just super happy. You think I got a good deal? I think I got a pretty amazing deal. This is one of the better LPS hauls I think I've had. But yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you're having an awesome uh, morning, day, evening, wherever you are in the world, whenever you're watching this. And uh, good luck in your future thrifting adventures. Keep playing by your own rules, guys. Bye!